Hi guys, here's Tushalak with a video tutorial about uh, mixed media layout. The base of my layout is 7 Dot Studio Collection Paint Chips. The whole list of supplies you will find at the end of the video. At the beginning, I decided that I would like to use those tags and I tried to make a composition. I took impasto paint from Finavar. I love to work with stencils. You can create very interesting background using stencils and uh, gesso or gel medium or thick paints like impasto paint. Once it dried, I decided to add another layer with heavy white gesso and Amwo Studio stencil. You have uh, nice layers that make your layout more interesting. Then I did some stamping using 7 Dot Studio Hazy Days Clear Stamps and Archival Ink Jet Black. I stamped here and there. Using two different stamps. I love to use my fingers, not acrylic block, as you could see. Now I took some Amoa Studio chipboard pieces to create a focal point with a photo of mine. <laughs> I did last year during my trip to the mountains. I love to use also 3D foamies because they add uh, dimension. You can see the process of creating is uh, very intuitive. I never plan my projects, I usually go with the flow. So I, I take elements, stickers, tags and make the composition. Now I took chalkboard, chalkboard um, spray firefly and I sprayed a piece of gauze. I dried it and I placed it under the first layer of my composition. I distressed it a little bit before I, I did it. Now I started adding some other small embellishment using soft matte gel medium from Finover as a glue. I used some mechanicals. I love those cute little stars. And then I started adding also other elements. I have a huge range of glass beads, micro beads and mica flakes from Finavar. And they are perfect as embellishments. Very tiny ones, but they add a lot of interest to, to the layout. I have many colors to choose from. Here I have used butter, turquoise, blush, because my layout is uh, very blue, yellow, red, more blue, yellow, more magenta. When everything dries, you will be able to see 
how beads and microbeads perfectly match each other and they create a really great addition to, to any layout. Here we have a 7 dot studio Soulmate chipboard. I have added some color to it, also Firefly spray. So we will have exactly the same color. I took some thread, which I like a lot uh, to add some thread to my projects. I glued everything with uh, magic glue. This is the name for, for the glue I use. It's transparent when it dries and uh, I love it. Here are various metal elements from Primo Marketing. I store them in a plastic tin so I can't tell which is from which set. I have used also uh, patina trinkets from Primo Marketing. The leaves are really beautiful. Now it's time for 7 dot Studio paint chip element stickers. This is the whole sheet of different stickers matching perfectly the papers and also die cut elements from the same collection paint chips. As you can see, I use 3D foam squares again. I love lace. So I have used uh, two little daisies from Prima Marketing Lace. They are cute and perfect for such projects. They're a little bit transparent. One more Finover mechanical piece. As you can see, I try several places. before I, I put it and more Amol Studio chipboard pieces. These are layered pinwheels. The list of supplies is at the end of my video so you can check all the supplies I have used there. Oh, and the uh, products I really love, uh, Golden High Flow Transparent, these are um, paint, uh, acrylic paint that is really fluid, very fluid, so you can use it as similar to watercolors, but when it dried, when it dries, it it's acrylic, so... Um, it will not dissolve with addition of water. So for mixed media techniques, it's really useful. So uh, I made some splashes with Hansel yellow, medium and phthalo green colors. This is almost uh, the end of working on my layout. Here is a beautiful feather from Seven Gypsies and some word stickers from Seven Dot Studio Paint Chips collection.
Almost all paper elements and papers and stickers here are from Paint Chips 7 Dot Studio Collection. You can, because the, these are stickers, you can just place them on your layout and they will be, they will be glued. But I decided to use 3D foam squares because I wanted to add some dimension. The finishing touch is uh, made with a Sharpie pen. The, the white Sharpie pen is really great, one of my favorite tools ever, because it, um, it is perfectly visible on uh, even black surface. So I highly recommend. Thank you for watching my video. Here are some close-ups. You can visit 7.studio blog or my website www.tushalakh.com or you can subscribe and like my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.